YouTube, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video. Friday continues, the excitement continues, the Friday Night Lights, part two. I said I did my Genshin 1.6 trailer reaction earlier today, and in that video I said, hey, I missed the live stream. I held my hands up. I missed the live stream. I didn't know it was on. I missed it. My bad. Let's just do the trailer. I don't feel like editing tonight, so I don't feel like doing a full stream reaction. Uh, yeah, psych, I was wrong, and I'm stupid. I didn't know when it was. Turns out it's right now. Now look, it's one thing to miss it and move on, come to terms with that, and live my life. It's another thing to know it's going on right now and to deliberately let it slide through the back door behind me. So I'm going to react to it, um, or watch it, watch it along. I'm about 20 minutes late because I was recording something else. So, I'm going to watch it. If you didn't see my 1.5 stream reaction, I will chop out some bits that are a bit snoozer because there will be a lot of bits where I'm not talking. Let's just watch it. I'm excited. 1.6, baby. Uh, and if you want to see me do just the trailer... Links in the description. Hello. And Hello. To the Genshin Impact version Clee and Barbara. And Gene. <laughs> they got Gene's voice actor. I'm Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. Hello, Zach. Ether in Genshin Impact. You know, Ether. Windblade. I still say that wrong. Today. Hi, everybody. I'm Poonam Basu, and I voice Hi. Clee, Spark Knight of the Knights of Pavonius. I've seen her on TikTok. Fish with me? Really? Sure. <laughs> Clee, you know the consequences. Gene. Uh, oh, for you, knight. Uh, I can explain. G uh, Gene drooler mojo. Can we get some drooler mojos in chat? Stephanie Sutherland, and I'm Hi, Stephanie. So, are you all ready for some version 1.6 previews? Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> and that's this. <laughs> really yes, sir. Too. But before we get there, let's take this moment to thank everyone in the Genshin Impact community for their love and support of the game. For sure, everyone's been so exciting and sweet and lovely and wonderful. Your enthusiasm. Did you see Barbara's eyes light up then? <laughs> I've been loving getting to me know every time I see Mona. Community and the fans are so much positivity, and I just love moments like this and opportunities to connect. So yeah, the community such a, there, there's, there's so much positivity in the community, especially yes, when people make tier list videos. A part of something so uh, amazing with such awesome fans. Thank you all so much for all your love and support. I feel it is, the funny thing is, it's a great community. We had that the the. Uh, win okay. trace recently so why don't we get the ball where you had to play I, I, I played it with friends and stuff but then if you did the rewards you had to play it with randos people were so nice optimizations and updates added to our overall gaming experience with the version 1.6 optimizations <laughs> please fix the chat I beg as usual we'll be giving away redemption codes throughout the stream and they might appear at oh redemption codes show. free gems I always forget I want to go somewhere Hi, Hi, Hello, 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 Hi. hello. Those fish won't blast themselves. Finally, the outfit. Let me be Coming along to the rolling waves? It's so romantic. It has something of the unknown about it. And yeah, I heard it was in the trailer earlier. If this is just the trailer, I'll probably cut most of this out because we reacted to the trailer already. Is Bob calling this place romantic? You be seeing them hilly chills over there? Let's go. Bro, that jean outfit. Yeah, I don't know if it's just a lot of quarantine talking right now, but that jean outfit do have me feeling a certain type of way. The voyage to is a this, is what, this is what excited me. By a perpetual tempest I mentioned this earlier to friends, that little name drop, that little name drop of Inazuma. May well prove to be the most arduous. I know we've got a little bit of a wait to go, but the fact that they're finally starting to officially drop little sprinkles of information in starting to talk about it and acknowledge it we're heading in the right direction i think okay we're gonna um tropical islands surfing all that good stuff don't forget okay I so i like, like i said i did watch the trailer earlier so i just skimmed through at the end there here we go kazuha i said it i said earlier i wanted to find out more about it so he's animo and my thing is i i main gene she's on my main team so i don't it's tricky. He's also so strong. Probably. Because the new characters tend to be. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. I want... This blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. In Azuma, is he talking so about? Brand new. Yeah. You know, the one we saw in the Unreconciled Stars event? That's right. It did look pretty cool. This is my thing. All of the new so characters progressively get stronger. 
versus like the first sort of generation of them, so like Zhao and Ganyu and Hu Tao and stuff. Think his fighting style is really cool. So I'm like, he's got to be strong, right? But I already have a melee animal character. This baby face is a fugitive. Yep, but he's so cute. Baby face gang, Poggy, we love a baby face. Definitely. And that's probably why he laments over the memories of his home. I mean, it sounds like he really can't go back anymore. Yeah. Don't worry, Kazuha, we love you. Yeah, no matter the reason, though, Kazuha is a wanderer now. He travels around. It's all interesting. There's like water splashing out of it. I don't know if that's just a reaction or if it's not. He unleashes a secret technique that pulls objects and opponents towards his current position before launching the opponents within the area of effect, dealing animo damage and lifting Kazuha into the air on a rushing wind current. Amazing. Whoa, okay, <laughs> I like these animo characters. They can create those nifty wind currents and whoosh. So he's like a cross between... Uh, well, wanna try Jean's wind current? Huh, um, no, but thank you. I was just gonna say, it's like, kind of like Jean... Like, <laughs> While Kazuha she is can suck people in and chuck him, but then Buru, mixed with like Venti slash powerful plunging attack. Zhao, by the way, he pops Ramza. himself up in the air and His plunges. His plunging attack damage is converted to animo damage and will create a miniature wind tunnel that pulls nearby objects and opponents in. So cool. So it's like a, 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 it's like a, a chain of different animo attacks. <laughs> he feels like, I could be way off the mark here, but he feels like a slightly, like an offensive, more DPS focused version of Jean. Because obviously Jean has like the healing and stuff, the support element. Upon triggering a swirl reaction. He feels like, kind of similar, but like, on, 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 more DPS focused. Maybe. Let the wind lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I'm just very wrong. In version 1.6, Klee will be reappearing in her own event wish first. Yes, okay, I'm glad she's first because I'm at like <laughs> yep. 50 After something P. So hopefully, will appear in his and I got my character. I got the character wish. last time, so hopefully <laughs> I hit P. Moreover, we will have some Yo, new weapons coming our way in version That bow looks sick. Ooh, the five star sword Freedom Sworn and the four star bow Mitternox Waltz will be available in the That's version got official written all over it, surely. Ooh, great names. And they mm -hmm. look amazing too. Mm -hmm. Seriously, right? Well, alright. This was all the latest we have on the new character and weapons. In the next section, we'll be getting some more Dude, info that bow looks cool. That's a very official Mami looking Kenji. bow. <laughs> Laura, in the I'll German let you take as the well. On Sounds good to me. I love what was I just saying? Exists. Let the show begin. Oh, yeah, hopefully I hit pity and. Get my regular character and then maybe just catch on to a second pity by the end of his banner and get a guaranteed 50 50. I don't know. Knowing me, I'll probably win the 50 50 and get Klee, who doesn't really fit onto my team and isn't Mona. But we'll see. Okay, so this is the cool new mask. Big, big, tall, and scary samurai, scary, tall samurai man. He's Magu Kenki, new monster. Looks like our new monster a mechanical is from human. Inazuma too. Mm -hmm. It looks like a samurai. Bingo. It's a cool like water the samurai sword, whatever. The phantom's attacks will be imbued with elemental energy, dealing both animo and cryo damage. So not only cryo. do you need to be careful of attacks so from cryo, things, not water. You must also dodge attacks from its phantoms. Oh boy, taking animo and cryo attacks at the same time. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Watch out for those swirl reactions. Believe me, I know. <laughs> she doesn't know. Sounds tricky to handle. Ah, yeah. Because uh -huh. she's, she's an anime character, like Jean is. But why does this new character play the front and center role in the upcoming Archon quest? Well, don't you remember where he's from? Oh, right, Inazuma. Uh huh, exactly. Yeah, you in a little previous finger. Archon quest, Zhang Li told us that Inazuma was presently. <laughs> I have another jungle quest yet. I have another jungle quest yet. My game's broke out. I haven't been able to do it. Dude, Inazuma kind of sounds so cool. I'm so excited to go. It's like shut off and there's all like hostility there and there's like issues going on. It's like difficult and treacherous to get into. The Crux Arts Tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. We're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma, you is this is this want to go there? Oh. It is a still okay. We're just making sure my piece is <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I am intrigued. Yeah. Oh, we love Beidou, dude. Beidou would be 
up for helping? I don't know if she's there to help us get to Inazuma. Uh, she seems pretty invested in her own martial arts tournament. Mm, that's true. Mm. I too am invested in this martial arts tournament. <laughs> I am also invested I in know more. They do. I mean, the martial arts to tournament. To I don't know. And we'll get to learn a little bit more about Kazuha too, so... I know, I can't wait! Dude, Bob's yeah. voice actors right, do well, be loving Kazuha. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Yeah, screenshot. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a incredible human what? could wield the elements without a vision. And not to mention your incredibly complex scent. Like that of some mysterious being. The best lines. Oh, I love this so much. That is a good, actor, a good line. Good job, Paimon. Paimon so. <laughs> smells delicious. The end. And Kazo has a cutie. He oh is. my god. <laughs> Bob. I love the way he talks. Yeah. Bob's voice actor. Uses... One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. Dude, it's a bit. It's a bit cryptic. Oh, it's exciting. Poetry. I love the way Kazuha speaks. So smooth. It does sound exciting. <laughs> I want to know if he's. Yeah, would be pretty cool actually, because you you go. Right <laughs> yes. I want him to be my new best friend. I wonder. Yeah, we, you know, Bob, we get it. We, yeah, we get it. Um, <laughs> Lee, you're you're in Monsta by default, and then you just like walk to Leo Way, like you just go there. Le Leo get out of the way, traveler. No, just what? <laughs> but this sounds like. Travelers, we can all be friends. There's okay, I don't, I don't know what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> it sounds like there's it's like a separate so. land that there's like a travel to. So I'd be really interested if they had like a like a quest or like an actual like gameplay element that's like traveling like on an ocean. Because obviously there's a new event that has boats, right? So maybe that's trying to put boats into the game. Maybe in future there'll be boats. To try and get you to Inazuma. It'd be interesting if that was the case, as opposed to it just being like attached. Like there's an actual journey there. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay, we're getting a redemption code. Some more write this down. Peepo G. Peepo G. Uh, I was about to skip ahead. I might just. Le uh, I might just leave this one. I might just leave this image up for a few minutes. Just making sure that everyone has time to get to write the code. Just make it. Just making sure everyone has time to write the code down. Yeah, get some Peepo G's in chat. Um, hygiene, hygiene, hygiene. Yeah, well, anyway, what? Well, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, watch the stream, watch the stream. Hi, Jean. Mwah. Hi, Jean. Kisses. Okay, it's buffering. Oh, no, it's buffering. We're going to have to look for a little bit longer. <laughs> Our main event is called Midsummer Island Adventure. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Whoa. Time, we'll be exploring is that a weapon? Please book. Islands. Oh. The story begins. As Klee receives a mysterious letter sent by Dodo King, who threatens in the letter to take Dodoko away from Klee. <gasps> oh no, that's so mean! Oh. I know, right? What? <laughs> I that's know. cool. There's not been many events, or maybe any events, away from yeah, where you've gotten I'm, like a, a weapon rhyme. out of it. <laughs> oh well, okay. No, that, uh, there, there was a Festering Desire. Okay. It was a big one, but Festering Desire is a really good sword. Actually, I use it on my gene. So if this is a good, if this book's as good as Festering Desire, that could be interesting. The islands will be a whole new area for travelers to explore. To yeah, that's exciting. Exploration. There will be special waypoints located throughout the area. Yeah, cool. So it is a whole new area. Travelers will be able to summon the unique Wave Rider boat at Wave Rider waypoints. Wait. Yo, that's dope. So we're actually going to be out there, like, sailing on the ocean? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. My question this is very Wind Waker looking. With our friends. Hmm? Yes, we can. <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll be able to summon our own individual Wave Riders and sail the seas with other players in co-op mode. Oh, yeah, we can boat that's together. Wow, Guys, we can boat together. That so nice. Okay. I'm officially Braces? accepting friend requests. <laughs> Guys? I'm ready. I need friends. <laughs> you you are, uh, Fist boat finally. races. Okay, so it's been reported that monsters have been building some fortifications at sea. Travelers will be tasked with piloting this the looks interesting. It does look like the last Leviathan. I don't know if anyone played that. Monsters to the bottom. Oh. Bang, bang, boom! Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Some of these floating towers can simply be destroyed by cannon fire, but others cannot. 
In such cases, we'll need to leave the wave rider and board the enemy tower. This is interesting, man. It's what? Assassin's Creed okay. Black Flag. Okay, I definitely didn't expect to see naval warfare coming in an event. <laughs> also, knocking enemies. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, Some of the sick. fortifications. He picks up the fire. Knocking enemies into water the to drown them we'll is incredible fun, and I love every time work. I get an opportunity and to do it with Jean. That's not Especially all. when there's a event. A event. Dangerous. There's an event where that's a useful skill. I'll be bringing my Jean out. In an instant. Players must be careful. Okay, not, not wait to be slamming these nerds into the water. Wait, wait, wait. An air course? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna glide to the race. Yep, that's right. Oh. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Oh, I hope you we're can do race stuff, Koa. Both sailing and gliding all in the same race? Exactly. Oh. Players will also need to do their best to collect wave splitter insignias throughout the race. Both the amount of wave splitter insignia. That was fun, even so. I always enjoy this stuff. To complete the race, this is a very like mid 2000s. So a lot of single practice? player games uh -oh, had this like <laughs> Ratchet and Clank and like, Spyro and stuff type like that. Our event challenge is called Samurai Sword. Had um... to arms. Oh, he's like a whole new boss. <laughs> Interesting. Who's always a new boss in the new area? Oh, I love it when they have new bosses. We'll be able to get this catalyst fully refined with its specialized refinement materials via the event shop, yeah, just like okay. the previous event. Yeah, yeah. It's so cute. And it totally matches Klee's art it style. Does. Yeah, totally. I think so, right? too, yeah. It does, yeah. If you get Klee, that's Travelers probably a good one to get. also have a chance to exchange for the Northlander billet trove what, in the event good. shop. With this trove, we can select any Maybe billet of any weapon type. Wow. Yeah, these cute summer outfits will be the first two alternate costumes available for characters in Genshin Impact. Oh, wow. Master Jean's costume. Just tell me how much. Dandelion. <laughs> Will be available via the in-game shop for players to purchase for a limited time discount. Just, and just tell me Barbara's the number. Barbara's costume, Summertime Sparkle. Sparkle. Right, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, not really bothered about the, the Bob one, but the G one. Our special event, Echoing Tales. Oh, wait, Give me so a number. We're getting, we're getting the summer costumes. That's so cool. Oh, <laughs> and it's so nice that we'll be able to claim one for free too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about the Echoing Tales event. Sure. Tell us more about so claiming one for free. During the event, the there'll be some one. magical echoing conches. <laughs> Not only can we listen to some <laughs> hidden stories from them, but also Let me pick. we can claim rewards. The Dodo Fortress will shoot Kaboom Balls of various kinds, and we need to use our Dodo Guard oh, to collect the Kaboom Balls around, like, and deal Gigi's damage to the fortress. E. Whoa, okay, so that almost sounds like a new kind of sport. Mm-hmm, yep. It's like the opposite of dodgeball. When we deal enough damage to the Dodo Fortress, it will enter a fury phase Yo, that thing's... and shoot Kaboom Balls at that a faster mad. pace while increasing the probability kaboom ball of special Oh, new, uh -oh. new name card. New name card. This one sounds like it might be pretty tough. <laughs> yeah. I just be seeing Aww, gems, and that's Zach. all I care about. The Dodo Fortress I'll collect the name card, defeated. though. It'll be our mission to defeat those Oh, yeah, I wanted to know about this one. Never ending battle. Use mechanism battle. and blessings from Momentum Discs to beat back the monster in one fell swoop. So, all we need to do is defeat them? Could it really be that straightforward? Hmm, sounds like Zach wants something to spice it up. Uh, there's a score attack, and it looks <laughs> oh, okay. like it's wave based. This is very up my alley. Uh, yeah, I mean, well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, there will be tons of special conditions to add oh, for These enemies look very strong. <laughs> it wasn't all, doing a great deal we'll of damage. The, but aside from all the archipelago area events, we'll have an event that happens outside the area as well. Legend. It is pretty cool that there's a lot going on there. Like, there's added this whole new area that you've got some new events going on. <laughs> That's a pretty epic Another name card, name. name card, name card yeah. check. And what can it does feel funny that after the event's event. over, there's just going to be it's this area challenge. that has like barely anything going event, on over there. Three powerful foes. What has the boss do, I guess? An Oceanid, a Primo Geo Bishop, and our new monster. What the hell? Yes, Magu Kenki! O Oceanid? <laughs> Let me make sure I'm saying this right. Magu Kenki? Uh -huh, Wait, no, right. run it back. Let me make sure we're saying... <laughs> oh, cool. I've been saying Honestly, Oceanid. I love all Oceanid. the rewards, but... I've been saying that wrong know, that entire oh time. Gosh, totally, I got Yo, you Yo, Rosario and Yenfei boost. Besides, each time your combined score reaches a new milestone, yeah, I, I like these types. Although I really hope we get the co-op. So these, these in co-op, this is like okay, the, the third or fourth good. time they've yeah, done we'll ones do. like this now, where you, note, it's like a domain. Move on to the latest optimization. Add new keyboard shortcuts. Add detailed information to the domain entry screen. That's interesting. 
Oh yeah, there's ones where you squad up with your friends and try and get as high a score possible. I, I love those. I have so much fun with those. Even the Twisted Realm. The first optimization coming in 1.6 is about navigating I enjoyed, to enemies I enjoyed playing Twisted Realm, right? It wasn't the funnest... After the it wasn't everyone's update, favorite event, but I enjoyed playing it with friends. ...and defeat so. an enemy using their adventurer handbook, the handbook will then automatically track down the next enemy of the same type. Oh, thank Ooh, God. Nice! That's a handy little update for material farming. Yeah, because that is yeah, so annoying right. that it doesn't just yeah, do that. I'm so glad it changed is that. regarding the PC version. We were doing Cryomages cryo the other night, and it was so annoying to, to open and take it off every single With time. This, version 1.6 will be adding domain details to the domain entrance screens. This will provide a detailed list of the monsters <laughs> and content of the corresponding challenges. This is so oh, good. This will come in handy for any players who are feeling unfamiliar with the domain. Did she say new yeah, players? It's always good to get some intel before our, our group is endlessly <laughs> going starting a domain and then in the, the chat way, on the menu going what's in here. Domain directly to other locations. The that is a lot. No longer show the challenge fails. That's going to that, that <laughs> actual life save. Whenever <laughs> we'll be able to invite up to 8 characters at a time to our realms upon finishing the tutorial task, a teapot to oh, call home cool. part 2. While these characters <laughs> reside in our realm, their character companionship experience will gradually increase. What? That's so cool. Friendship is magic. That is cool. It, it is makes magic. it a little feel a little more like <laughs> Lively Not and only fleshed that, out, like, when our adeptal energy less, rank like, increases, quiet and, the rate and lonely, at which character you know? companionship experiences gained will also be increased. Ooh, nice. character, the character expanding companionship so, thing is huge. Can players interact? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's all the more reason to collect more furniture yeah. blueprints. Yeah. yeah, it's so awesome that the two and more suddenly I'm in. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> yeah, it's under continuous development and will get more optimizations in the future. Let's yeah, it's cool. See. They just okay. kind of keep working. Now on seems we did it. Yay! Hey, go us! Congrats so to us! So, how did you all like the it? special program? I loved the special program. I had so much fun. We got the inside scoop on so much cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, we know you did. And Kazuha and his scarlet leaves. Mm, Kazuha. <laughs> new... Welcome, esteemed travelers. It is an honor to be with you today. Dude, people are gonna be pogging their minds off with my Ayaka content. I am Master Yuzuma Kamisato Art Tachijutsu, Kamisato Ayaka. Delighted to make your acquaintance. It's so pretty. I love how everything's Perhaps purple. You already... Now then, allow me to present you with a brief introduction of the island. islands of Inazuma before you make your official arrival. Yeah, this should be cool. Like dense this purple is forest. This looks so cool. Island. An island draped like a mystical in dense purple foliage swamp. and breathtaking Excuse colors. Me, this gives me big Elder Scrolls vibes, even though there isn't really an area that's surrounded like purple by a like canopy this. of mountains and waterfalls. Is Sangonomiya Shrine? It looks like a purple Morrowind. Next, we have Serai Island. Whoa. It is said that this island was once subject to a terrible disaster. Yeah, it looks the like it. The center of the island was enveloped by a perpetual thunderstorm, which formed the island's unique geography and landscape you see now. And this is Surumi Island, a mysterious island that has been looks shrouded like an island, by a dense like a, fog. Like an island in turmoil, it has like it's all a bit like... It's been many years since anyone has dared to venture to this island. Dangerous and mysterious Inazuma and chaotic. Inazuma is home to many majestic sights to see, many of which are hidden away in more secluded locations. Because there's new like enemies and stuff, new monsters Take to fight and things. Take this huge tree, and finally, our last stop is Inazuma's largest shrine, the Grand Narukami Shrine. Yo. The Grand yeah, Narukami like a wolf. Shrine sits atop Mount Yogo on Narukami Island. O W L. Bye. 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 <laughs> and on that note. Bye bye everybody as well to you to for watching this video. Uh, I don't know how much I'm, this one felt like even longer than the last one, so I don't know how I'm, I'm going to cut this up. But I'm probably going to cut a lot of it out. 50 minutes, yeah. I'd like this to be like sub half an hour. Um, but that was fun. That was exciting. I'm looking forward to find out more about Kazuha. As I said, I don't know if I'm actually going to wish for him yet. I haven't quite figured that bit out. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm really excited for Inazuma. Very much. I mean, I mean, I've been excited for Inazuma anyway. But I'm and I know we've still got a while to go, but. <sighs> It looks sick, dude. Um, and I'm, uh, other than that, I'm just excited that there's like a whole new area with a whole bunch of new events. It looked pretty good. Uh, I, I think the boat stuff will be interesting. And I say, I'll be interested to see if they develop on the boat thing. Now they've added them in as a concept, and now they're talking about the journey and the, the sail over to Inazuma. It'll be interesting to see if that's more of like a uh, an integrated gameplay element layer, maybe involved in a quest. I don't know. That said, and again, there's always that thing as well. I'm ex uh, looking at the events and being like, this looks cool, this looks cool, but like how much of it is co opable? Because um, I enjoy the co op stuff. Uh, quite a fair bit more than the solo stuff, I'd say, but either way, I'm excited. I guess watch him. Um, 
I, I, if you watched all the way, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Content-wise, I don't know what's coming this weekend. I had a video that was going to come out today, and was still going to come out today, even after the trailer reaction. But I think I'm going to push it back, because I don't really want three videos in one day. Um, but either way, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. If you want to see my uh, reaction, my first reaction to the full trailer trailer, I'll leave a link in the description. I said, I appreciate you all. I'll see everyone in the next video. All right, later, guys. Bonk.